YouTube, man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another vid, man. And we have some more interesting news. If the Nick Burris situation couldn't have got any worse, man, there are a couple more things we have to talk about. Now, Mikey Williams actually just reacted to this entire situation on Instagram. And man, a new video may be surfacing very soon that could destroy Nick Briz's entire brand as if it's already not pretty much in shambles as of right now. But let's get right into them. And if you do like these type of vids, like the vid, sub to the channel, but let's get it. Now, one of the most wild parts about this entire situation was that Chris actually pulled up on Nick Briz and basically was telling him to come outside. And man, Nick was not budging at all, was not going anywhere. But man, let's roll the clip. Well, I'm not gonna be, I know, I know you're not. You're internet, you're a I swear I'll fuck you up. I'll come shop you too. Don't talk to me. Bro. Hey, you want to come outside? Come outside. Come outside. Come outside. You tough? Come outside. Come outside. Come outside. Come outside. Bro, if not, if you're not gonna come outside, shut your mouth. Do you want to come outside? Do you want to come outside? Do you want to come outside? Let's go off this premises. Let's go off this premises. Premises. If not, keep your mouth shut. You little. Bitch. You little. Bitch. I'll beat your ass. Bitch. You a. Bitch. You a f***ing hell. I made you, Nick. I made you. You my son. I put you in my pocket. You a whole female. Don't talk to me or come outside. We're not talking in here. We're not talking in here. Come outside or don't talk to me. Now, I got to be honest, I think it's partially a smart move not to go and try to fight somebody like Chris because Nick is probably going to lose. But man, Chris was really about it and really pulled up on Nick. And Nick was just over there dribbling the basketball, not wanting any part of it. But you guys let me know what you think about that clip. But it's wild the fact that he would avoid a fight from Nick. And Nick is the one who's calling him out. And he's always talking crazy about people saying that he's ready to fight, that he'll slap somebody. But when it really comes down to it, man, you see, he is not about that life whatsoever. And it's crazy how on one hand, he won't pay these guys. And now they're the ones that are exposing him. You guys, let me know what you think about that in the comments down below, man. But let's take a look at the next subject, man, Mikey Williams. Now, if you guys have not seen, of course, Mikey was pretty much one of the first people that we really saw interacted with Nick Briz. And you guys know what happened. Mikey Williams was on Instagram saying something about Nick's content being fake. And of course, it's been exposed that his content is fake as of right now but at the time no one knew this so mikey actually of course said that and then nick briz went on instagram and said he would slap mikey williams and i'm gonna play the clip just so that you guys remember this mikey williams if i saw you in real life i would slap the fuck out of your face boy the hype you're riding off of fucking brawny will eventually fucking wear off the sh i will literally take you and slap you in the mouth and make you apologize a little now of course it was wild because he was talking to a minor and everyone was saying how could you say something like this to a minor you're way out of line and i think that was the first indication that something was going on with nick and the things that he was saying man you cannot be doing that to somebody especially somebody like mikey williams for sure and he even said brawny made mikey and all these other accusations but man of course mikey williams then responded on tiktok in a comment basically saying that he would kill Nick on the basketball court, allegedly on the basketball court. And man, this was not surprising at all. Everyone knew Mikey Williams really shouldn't even give this dude any type of attention. And there were potential 1v1s that were going to happen. But this was the first incident, of course, with him and Mikey. And then recently, all this other stuff had happened with Chris basically exposing Nick and what's going on with this entire situation and him faking his vids, not paying players, doing allegedly doing coke, and of course, saying the n-word which was the other one which was a huge no-no like i said before if you do something like that you're going to be canceled right away but man mikey Williams actually just responded on instagram and it was wild what he said now let's take a look at this now mikey actually said some of these rich guys be weirdos i could never let the money change me and i think that's one of the biggest things in this entire situation man everyone is talking about money and i definitely have to agree with mikey what he's saying here because you guys know especially 
probably when his money wasn't told like this and he wasn't making probably like 40 grand per month it really wasn't this type of situation where people were stabbing each other in the back but of course when the money goes up and you see this man some people are going to want to make a name for themselves and are going to want more and i think that's only natural and for sure if you're kind of scamming people and not giving the type of money that they deserve like nick promised what it sounds like then that's just bad for business and for sure someone's going to come out and expose all of these secrets that you do have for them so it really doesn't make sense in my opinion why nick would even operate like this if he knew that he could get exposed for something like this it's crazy to me now allegedly nick is operating out here on a burner account commenting and putting stuff on instagram and even reporting a lot of chris's posts and videos and of course his old instagram did get taken down but he did get on another one but he actually posted something super interesting as well on instagram and man i gotta be honest here if this video comes out man i really truly think this is the end of nick because a lot of people don't think it could get worse but in my opinion if we do see this vid it's going to get a lot worse now chris actually posted this on his story that says officer nick reported the post it's okay now patreon sniffing video coming now too go to twitter for more exposing and that is wild to me if he does actually release a video like this on his patreon of course the second it gets leaked and hits youtube man i think this dude is done for sure it's gonna be a wrap for him because if something like this releases or even a video of him saying the n-word and people actually see that type of proof of course we've seen proof through texts and other things but if we see something like this video people can see it's nick man i think it's over for this dude if it's not already over now in addition to this there was also also evidence proving that of course Nick had paid somebody to swing on cash nasty and those talks had came up before which is wild because if you're talking to somebody like your they're your friend and you're really cordial with them making videos but then you do something like that behind their back and even cash nasty gifted him one of the videos that he recorded and then you pay somebody to go fight with him allegedly man that is wild to me because it clearly shows the type of character that you have operating with these people and you're pretty much only in it to get a video out exposing somebody or trying to get some type of clickbait and really don't actually most likely mess with the person even mess with cash like that at all now of course a lot of you guys even know the situation about carlos is wild because of course this dude has mental disabilities and when you're putting somebody with mental disabilities in a situation like that i really don't think that's right at all and it's crazy you're not paying somebody the right amount at all that has mental disabilities you're pretty much taking advantage of them man allegedly if this is true that's wild in my opinion saying something like that because you're really just taking advantage of somebody who has no other opportunity now nick on his side basically said he gave him a platform gave him an audience and to be honest i think on one side definitely a lot of these guys benefited from the type of traction and clout that he had but if you do have some type of agreement that you're going to pay somebody this much or some type of signed contract or whatever they had man he should just follow with that for sure and it's definitely not right to take advantage of somebody who's in a weak position now i think what's even weirder about that is carlos was actually pretty much defending nick and basically saying that he did not agree with chris at all which is wild to me because if he's not getting paid the right amount and only getting paid around 1200 dollars, which he actually said in a youtube video make sure to include it here now how much he gave you He gave him 500 then 600 last month. Why would you be disagreeing with somebody like Chris, who seems like he's standing up for you, whereas Nick allegedly here was not paying you the right amount? And that really doesn't make too much sense according to that video that we just saw. Now, as a whole, it does look like the majority of people are siding on Chris's side because he showed evidence every single time. We have never seen Nick Briz come out and screenshot something or really show evidence as to why he's saying the things he does say and to try to disprove some 
something Chris says. It's only been talking and him saying things back and forth really to try to get under Chris's skin. It almost seems like maybe he's lying about this situation. But even in the comments down below, man, even if we look at Dev in the lab, he actually posted a comment under one of Chris's channel videos that he put out and basically said that he believes that Chris is telling the truth. And man, with all of the evidence that has come out, I think it really would point to that so far. What do you think about this entire situation, man, that Chris actually pulled up on Nick and Nick was basically starstruck, didn't do anything. But again, I think personally, I wouldn't do something if I was Nick either. Why would you go outside and get potentially beat up by Chris? I just don't think that's a smart move at all. But hey, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like the vid, sub the channel, turn on post notifications, get a notification every time I upload a new video. Appreciate each and every one of you selling each and them out.